Okay, I've got the tank. Um, I've removed the badges, the uh, petcock and the uh, lid there. And you can see there's different paint there. It used to be red and then it was painted black, but it's all cracking off. Um, there's a few little dints in as well that I'm going to have to uh, uh, work out what to do. But what I'm going to do first is I'm going to uh, just strip it. So I've cleaned it all up with some uh, methyl, methylated spirits and um, I'm just going to spray it with some of these Ripco paint stripper. So I got most of the black out, but some was a bit stubborn. But there's another coat of the original red paint underneath. So um, I just gave it another coat of uh, paint stripper, wrapped it all up, leave it for a few hours, and uh, we'll give it another go. So after a few hours of uh, scraping and uh, reapplying the uh, uh, paint stripper, I've got it down to pretty much bare metal except for a few spots from the original paint which are a bit stubborn um, I just gave it a good wash because that paint stripper is really greasy oily stuff and uh, a good wash with soapy water and uh, the rest I'm going to get with the uh, I'd say a 60 or 80 grit sandpaper right so a couple of hours of uh, um, sanding with 180 grit and I've got pretty much all the paint off some places there um, the original paint is very well adhered and I've been able to sand it nice and flush so I don't have to go through and scrape it all um, and on the underside same thing around the nooks and crevices it's hard to get in there but um, I'm comfortable with that and I've sanded it as much as I could um, so now I'm going to start the process of finding all the little imperfections for example I know that this one there but in order to see it I'm going to spray it with guide coat and then I'm going to start sanding um, with a 80 grit um, and uh, see where the spots are and fill them in with some body filler so as you sand off the guide coat you start to see the areas where it's not coming off these are low spots now these most of these already existed and the tank looked fine and I could have just sprayed it over the way it was but I want to achieve a nice finish on this so I'm going to uh, keep sanding and until all the guide coat is off except on the low spots and I'm going to use some uh, body filler to uh, skim those areas up So that's after a full sanding of the guide coat um, with a 1/8 with an 80 grit sandpaper. And you can see the low spots and uh, everything else came up all right. So what I'm going to do now is give it a wipe down with a bit of uh, wax and grease remover and uh, and apply some body filler. So after resanding, um, I had a couple of little spots that were low, 
just here and there and on the side there and um, so um, I just repacked it with some fresh putty uh, wait for it to set and give it a final 80 grit sand and then I'll start working myself up to uh, 80, 120, 180, whatever up, all the way up to 320 using a bit of guide code in between Hey, there it is. So that's with a uh, progression of sanding from 80 grit, then um, 120, 180, 240, all the way up to 320. And uh, it's not perfect, but uh, I'm not a panel beater or a body expert, so um, it, it looks pretty good to me. Uh, just clean it up with some uh, wax and grease remover and I'll wrap it up ready for painting uh, I'm ready for painting and uh, I've set up my little painting booth there this is just a 3 by 3 meter gazebo type uh, tent and I've got my painting bench there I've got the tank ready to go I've hooked up a little device here with a with a swivel, Lacey Susan type of uh, swivel. Uh, my gun, spray gun, workbench, and some products. And uh, I'm pretty much ready to go. Uh, I've also put in a little heater in here to warm the place up because it's a bit cold now in Sydney and uh, and uh, you need to have the room a little bit warm for these uh, 2K systems to uh, uh, to set. So I'm going to start the process by mixing my, uh, my primer. This is uh, a 2K primer um, and it requires a 4 to 1 mixture with primer hardener and 10 to 10 to 20 percent of uh, uh, universal or 2k thinner and I'll be using one of these uh, paint measuring cups it comes graduated in milliliters but it also has different mixing ratios 2 to 1 3 to 1 and 4 to 1 which is what I want to use and it's got a whole lot of different uh, points where you can fill up to depending on how much volume you need so let's say that I choose to have about half a cup of, of this stuff what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill up to the A there in the uh, actual paint in the primer and then to the B in the hardener so that's four parts of, pri of uh, primer one part of hardener and then it's got little um, lines the first which is 10% the next one 20% the next one 30% and that means that if I want to add 10% by volume of uh, thinners I just go to the next little line so A B and the first line A B 4 to 1 first little line 10% thinners So I've set uh, my compressor for about 85, 90 psi, and I've set the regulator here to about 35 to 40 psi, and I'm just going to adjust the fan.
So three coats of the uh, um, primer and uh, I'm going to wait about two hours for it to uh, dry and I'm going to give it a sand with some 800, 600 or 800 uh, wet and dry clean it up and then I'm going to start applying the base coat what a bummer I um, went too early to sand it I left it about 40 minutes and um, it wasn't quite dry so it, it got stuck to my pants just down there and started peeling off so <laughs> um, obviously it's not warm enough uh, so anyway I had to start sanding but then I discovered that during one of my uh, coats the compressor had turned itself off so although there was still air in the tank it, the pressure was going down and it actually ended up um, with a lot of orange peel on the surface so I had to sand it back anyway because it looked like shit um, anyway I had to go back to uh, 180 uh, wet and dry uh, then 360 and uh, using guide coat because uh, it was very hard to see how well it was being removed without the guide coat um, I've got it all nice and smooth and uh, ready to give it another couple of coats of uh, primer tomorrow so I've primed all my plastics and the tank I've uh, let them dry overnight and I've given them a sanding wet and dry sand with some 400 and 800 grit um, wash them let them dry and I'm just going to start preparing now to uh, give them a bit of color wait about 30 minutes after the last coat and I've done the tank and the seat cow and I'm going to start taping up for uh, outlines so uh, I've taped it up both sides uh, that's taken me about half an hour or so um, I'm just going to do some lettering on the uh, cow and then I'm ready to uh, wipe it down and put the final uh, coat on right well it's late into the night uh, as you can see by the lack of light and I finished painting um, and I'm going to call it a night so I'll show you at uh, the next video the finished bike you'll have to wait for it